Hey guys, it's Anthony here from MCTDM. Welcome to the Razer Tartarus Chroma review and unboxing. Pretty quickly, the Tartarus is a gamepad designed to replace your keyboard in MMOs and MOBAs such as League of Legends, World of Warcraft, etc. And those ones, it is not ideal for first person shooters, but could be used. As well as that, it can be used to hotkey and video editing and stuff like that. Now, the Tartarus is one of many available. In the, the Razer line have two, the Tartarus and the Orb Weaver. The Tartarus is your standard keycaps, your Orb Breather is mechanical. Now, Logitech also offer a different one, but we've got the Razer one on offer. It has 25 fully customizable keys, you have 15 on the front there, you've got an 8 way thumb pad, and you've also got a, two others on the side there, one that can act as a space bar, another that can act as a left click, etc. From there, you've also got a nice palm rest on the bottom there. So let's open this one up and have a look at it. First you'll notice the front cover here so you can get a good feel for when you want to try it, especially if you're inside of a shop before you buy it, you can make sure it fits your hand. I've got quite a large hand myself and it fits perfectly on the inside there. I don't know if you can see it there. So it's suitable for all of the grips. The Orb Weaver does have a bit more customiz my, like customization with it available. Now let's get opening it. Okay, so opening this one up, it opens up from the top there so the side panel window is just for display. You have your standard inside razor green, lime green display. You know, box we won't need, let's put that one aside. So, you got a plastic cover up here, removing that one there. You can pull this one out. So let's just get this cable out. Let's put that one aside for now. Okay, so you get your standard welcome, congratulations for purchasing a Razer product. Congratulations, there's no turning back. So, you know, standard stuff you get in there. You get your product guide here for the Razer Chroma. Tells you all the instructions in there. Really, are we ever gonna use this? Probably not. And you also get some Razer stickers. Uh, typically they come in green, but for the new Chroma products, you get this nice shiny one. I don't know, maybe you want a sticker on the back of your notebook, computer case. It's up to you what you want to do with it. You can throw it in the bin for all I care. Anyway, coming into this one here. So let's start with the bottom display. We have a USB, by the looks of it, it's just standard 2.0 port here on a nice razor braided wire. One thing razor do do very nicely is protecting their wires there. I've had a razor Naga 2012 edition, so four, four years old now. Still going perfectly strong if I still wanted to use it. The cord's been damaged, it's been bent, and it's still perfectly well because of the plastic cover that's under the braid. Now, taking a look at the actual main gamepad, this is it right here. So, you've got your 15 keys up the top there. you notice when I'm holding it with my hand over here, I have access to all 15 really easily without having to move my hand at all. So like that. You've also got on the side here, you have a top button here that can click in. you also got this one down here, this can act as your space bar typically, it's what most people set it to. You have your eight-way thumb pad over here, up there. There, and you'll notice it's a fairly quiet one to game on. It's just like your normal keycap ones without a mechanical switch. Now, inside of here, the main reason you'd be using this is especially for your hotkeys. If you own some other Razer products, you'll own the Razer Synapse, and the Synapse is actually really useful. I'll cover that at the end of towards the video. So some other things you've got adjustable here is you have got adjustable thumb pad like wrist rest here by pushing this down over here. You can slide this one in and out. You probably got maybe an inch at the tops of movement, but it's fairly useful, especially if you've got a longer arm, you want a better resting position, stuff like that. So that's a rough overview of what this looks like here. Let's get you some shots of plugged in. Okay, into the Razer Synapse for the Tartarus Chroma. You'll notice here I'm signed in and everything. I've got my other Razer devices currently connected, the Death Adder Chroma and the Black Widow Chroma. That's my keyboard and mouse of choice. And you'll notice the Razer Tartarus Chroma in the side there. So depending on the device that you want, just go ahead and click on that one there. So I'm gonna choose the Tartarus, of course, because that's what this review is. You see a what your model looks like. You can hit the side view to see the side buttons. But in here, you have the options to customize what the keypad does create macros such as if you wanted to have a then f then g pressed all together you can do it through there and key bind that to be your tab zero now you've also got options for your lighting that's what most people are going to want in here 
And then you've got some add-ons for certain games that have add-ons for the Tartarus. Um, I believe World of Warcraft is one of them that do have an add-on. So let's start with the lighting of the Razor Tartarus. Unlike the Razor Black Widow Chroma, you don't have unlimited options. You can select which one you'd like and only have the flat color for all of it. With the Razor De uh, Black Widow, you can set individual keycaps. For the Tartarus, it needs to all be the same. It's one of the downsides, but you've only got 15 keys that are lighting up. So it's not that big of a deal. It would have been nice though. We are paying a premium price for Razor that they included it. Now you've got your Spectrum Cycling, you've got Breathing. So Spectrum Cycling just changes the colors throughout there. Breathing is like a breathing effect as it changes. And then you can select Static. Well, well if you don't know what Static is, it's the same color that you choose. You have all 15.8 million RGB colors to choose from. Or you can go cut. So you've got the basics ones there, or you can go to custom, choose your own color, and hit OK. It will instantly change them through you. But I'm going to go with blue because that's what the color setup is. You can also hit this button here. This will apply your same effect to all other Razer enabled Chroma devices. Now, I'm not going to do that myself because I've got mine set up to be a bit differently on the uh, Black Widow. Now, you can also select profiles here. Profiles mean you'll easily be able to change between the configuration of your chroma lighting as well as which keycaps do what. So let's come on back to your customize so we can actually set these up. You notice here you have key maps 1 to 8. This allows you to actually configure each individual keys into a different key map system, allowing you to have a total of 8. What most people do is they select the button that's just above the thumb pad there to be able to swap your key maps over. That means you can be having a lot of different ultimate keys and macro buttons be pressed. I myself only need the one, but it could be useful to set up others, or you can use a profile as well to set up the other ones there. Now to modify that, you just click on the keycap, you'll open up this little box here. By default, they're each individually assigned, but you can come in through here. You can select keyboard functions, mouse functions, macros, and a bunch of other devices here as well. Windows shortcuts, all of that. Multimedia, for example, if you're working something with Sony Vegas and stuff. That's what I've got. I'm going to be setting one of my own profiles up to do. And you can also just disable the key entirely. That's good for certain devices. Um, might even be good for the Razer Tartarus where you typically have the spacebar one if you need to disable that. So that's easily enough to do it. It's very simple to set up. It won't take you long at all. The only thing I want to set up and show you differently is this here. It is an eight-way thumb pad here, thumb dial, whatever you want to call it. Now, you can click on it, and by default, it's only actually four. You've got left, up, right, and down. But if you click into it here, you can change it to be buttons, and that way you get a lot more. The problem I find with it, though, is it's going to be very hard to be able to select button eight and not hit button one by accident. I think it's better served to use the Razor Tartarus with just the four buttons, left, up, run, down. It's typically what most people will want to use. Now, I reckon combining this with the Razer um, Naga will make an ultimate setup where you won't need a keyboard for nearly any MMO game out there ever again. Let me know what you think in the comments if you're going to pick this up, how you plan to use it. And yeah, let's get into my final review and thoughts of this one. Okay, so my final reviews on the Razer Tartarus Chrome were Let's start with the cost. At $76 off Amazon for the US or $139.95 for Australian, it is pretty expensive. It's a niche product that I feel will be only suitable for a small class and percentage of the people that want to use it. However, for someone looking to experiment and try easier ways or a way to have an alternative gameplay, I believe this is a product you could give a shot. As for the overall feel and stuff of the design, I like it quite a lot. It takes a while to get used to. Don't expect to jump straight in and be as good as you were with a keyboard. It will take a bit of time, probably a few days, depending how quick you are, to adapt and get used to it all. Once you do get adapted and used to it, you'll understand, you'll remember the hotkeys, and it's a lot easier. You can press a lot more buttons easily on this thing with just one hand than you can on your keyboard with only one hand. As I said before in the Synapse, if you pair this with a Razer Naga where you get an extra 12 buttons on the side of that, you can pretty much have an unlimited amount of hotkeys for any MMO that you need fit. I don't know many more games 
that need more than 25 different buttons to be pressed all at the same time. Now as well, we've got the different preset options where you can easily swap between the different sets of keys. So if you do need more, I feel you don't need to be pressing them that quickly that you wouldn't be able to swap over to a different preset very easily like that. As for the lighting, I'm, it's a bit underwhelming considering what Razer have done with their Black Widow. I would have liked to be able to customize each individual keycap, but I understand this is a normal one and the Orb Weaver might be different here. The Orb Weaver, of course, is a mechanical version, so it is a premium or premium price and has mechanical switches though. I feel though there aren't many games as well that will need it. World of Warcraft could be one. League of Legends, I definitely believe though you do need a mechanical version. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Bye.